Hello to everyone, today we will speak about simple compression refrigeration cycle as simple we can uh, do. The basic idea is that the science of refrigeration is based on the fact that liquid can be vaporized at any desired temperature by changing the pressure around it. As an example, the water under normal atmospheric uh, pressure, one atmosphere will boil at 100 degrees of Celsius. The same water in a closed vessel under a pressure of 4.6 bar, 4, 4 bar will not boil until its temperature has reached 149 degrees Celsius. Liquids boiling at low temperatures are the most desirable media for removing heat. As an example, the refrigerants. Many of the liquids used as refrigerants in the refrigeration system have boiling points below minus 18 degrees Celsius under ordinary atmospheric. Let's see a simple refrigerator refrigerant cycle. You need four elements, four compounds. You need the expansion valve, the compressor, the evaporator, and condenser. To learn the simple refrigerator, the refrigeration cycle is very simple. Just make a cross, make a cross. After design, a condenser and the evaporator, the compressor, and the expansion valve. At the right of our scheme, our refrigerant is in gas state. At the left our refrigerant is in the liquid state also here in the red line up on the line we have high pressure and down of the line is low pressure if you remember these two things the cross at the components of refrigerant cycle then you can describe very easy the refrigerant cycle the, very, the, the refrigerant must deliver to evaporator in liquid state because in liquid state can absorb heat by vaporizing the compressor and condenser are needed to enable the same refrigerant to be used several times To maintain the difference in pressure between the condenser and the evaporator caused by the compressor, we need an expansion valve to install in the cycle. The expansion valve separates the high pressure part of the system from the low pressure part. Only a small trickle of refrigerant liquids flow through the valve. In fact, the valve is always adjusted so that the rate at which liquid passes through it is the same as the evaporation rate. As you can see, as we have told already, the simple refrigeration system therefore consists of an evaporator, a compressor, a condenser and an expansion valve. The refrigerant boils in the evaporator at a constant low pressure, at temperature. Heat is removed from the fluid being cooled. After leaving the evaporator, the vaporized refrigerant flows through the compressor. In the compressor, the pressure of the vaporized refrigerant is raised to a point at which it can be condensed by some relatively warm fluid, like water, like sea water. The compressor removes the refrigerant vapor. This creates such 
a low pressure in the evaporator that the evaporation temperature is kept below the surrounding temperature. The power input of uh, this compressor of this uh, process is represented by W dot. After being compressed, the vapor enters to the condenser and is condensate at constant pressure and temperature. Latent heat is transferred from the, from the condensing vapor through the walls of the condenser. The expansion valve has two functions. First of all, maintaining the pressure difference between the condenser and the evaporator together with compressor. And the second, regulating the volume of refrigerant going to the evaporator. Thank you.